day everyone for today's lesson we're going to find the possible length of the third side of the given triangle so ang given natin sa number 1 ay 6 at saka 12 so wala po tayong third side so gagamitan po natin siya ng triangle inequality theorem 3 para mahanap natin si third side at i-represent natin siya as S. So, let S as the third side. So, see siya po yung ating unknown value. So, magkakaroon tayo ng tatlong inequality dyan. So, we have inequality 1. So, S sub 1 plus S sub 2 is greater than S sub 3. So, ang ating S sub 1 ay 6. Ang ating S sub 2 ay 12 greater than S sub 3. So, ang ating S sub 3 ay S. So, sin siya yung ating unknown value. And then, add natin itong C6 tsaka C12. So, we have 18 is greater than S. Or, S is less than 18. For our inequality 2, so, we have S sub 1 plus S sub 3 is greater than S sub 2. Ang S sub 1 natin ay 6. Ang ating S sub 3 ay unknown, so siya ay S. At ang ating S sub 2 ay 12. Then, combine similar terms. So, subtract both sides by 6. So, we have S is greater than 6. Kasi 12 minus 6 is 6. So, yan yung ating inequality 2. For inequality 3, so, we have S sub uh, 2 plus S sub 3 is greater than S sub 1. So, ang ating, ang ating S sub 2 ay 12 at ang ating S sub 3 ay unknown at ang ating S sub 1 ay 6. And then, combine similar terms. So, we have S is greater than negative 6. So, subtract both side by 12. So, S is uh, greater than negative 6. So, kung napapansin nyo, negative po yung ating value dito sa ating S. So, disregard na po natin siya. So, hindi na siya kasama. So, ang magiging possible length na ating third sides ay S is less than uh, 18 but greater than 6. So, nasa range lang po siya ng from 7 to 17. Yan. So, ito yung mga possible value ng ating S. So, 7 to 17. So, kung ang ating uh, third side ay 7, so, we have 6, 12, and 7. So, pag in natin yung dalawang maliit na side, so, 6 plus 7 ay... 13 greater than 12. So, that is true. So, tama na siya kaagad. So, ang shortcut lang natin dyan, dapat yung dalawang sides, yung dalawang maliit na side ay greater than sa pangatlo. So, pag nag-fall siya, mali yung sagot natin. Pero, since true siya, so, tama po ang ating sagot. Ayan. So, that's up number 2. So, ang given natin ay 3 and 7. So, wala ulit yung ating third side. So, ilet lang natin siya ulit as S. So, let S as the third side. So, kung nakita nyo kanina, yung ating inequality 3 ay uh, negative yung nakuha natin value ni S. So, mag-i-disregard na natin si inequality 3. So, dalawa lang lang yung kunin natin para mas madali natin makuha yung possible length ng ating third side. So, ang ating inequality 1 ay S sub 1 plus S sub 2 is greater than S sub 3. So, ang ating S sub 1 ay 3 at ang ating S sub 2 ay 7. So, ang ating S sub 3 ay unknown. So, S natin siya. So, 3 plus 7 is 10 greater than S. So, or S is less than 10. Okay, ang ating inequality 2 ay S sub 1 plus S sub 3 is greater than S sub 2. So, ang ating S sub 1 ay 3, ang ating S sub 3 ay unknown, at ang ating S sub 2 ay 7. 
So, subtract both sides by 3. So, we have S is greater than 4. So, ang ating third side ay less than 10 but greater than 4. At ang mga possible value niya ay from 5 up to 9. Yan. So, ang mga possible length ng ating third side ay 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, pag chinek natin yan, so, 3, 7, okay, 5. So, pag in natin si 3 tsaka si 5, so, we have 8 greater than 7. So, that is true. Kung mas mababa yan, so, try natin 4. So, 3, 7, 4. Pag in natin si 3 tsaka si 7, Ah, si 3 tsaka si 4, magiging 7. 7 is greater than 7. So, false na agad. Kaya, mag start po siya sa 5 hanggang sa 9. So, mga possible length ng number 2 ay 5 up to 9. So, kayo nga, try nyo nga i-solve yung number 3. So, ang given natin ay 6 at saka 10. Ano kaya ang magiging possible length ng ating uh, number 3? So, dalawang given na side, 6 at saka 10. Ano yung third side niya? Sige, isolve mo siya. So, kung ang sagot nyo ay S is less than 16, but greater than 4, so tama po ang sagot nyo. So, paano nangyari yun? Sa inequality 1, Diba? Magiging 6 plus 10 is greater than S. So, 16 is greater than S. So, S is less than 16. So, inequality 2, magiging 6 plus S is greater than 10. Then, uh, subtract both side by 6. So, S is greater than 4. So, ang magiging sagot, natin ay S is less than 16 but greater than 4. So, ang mga possible value ng ating S ay 5 up to 15. So, 5 up to 15. So, ganun lang po kadaling maghanap ng third sides or ng mga possible length ng ating third sides sa ating given triangle. So, gumawa lang po kayo na dalawang inequality at ito lang yung formula na gagamitin nyo. So, S sub 1 plus S sub 2 is greater than S sub 3 at S sub 1 plus S sub 3 is greater than S sub 2. So, huwag nyo na pong gamitin yung inequality 3 since nagdi-negative po yung ating value. So, disregard nyo na po yun. Ayan. So, sana po meron kayo natutunan sa araw na ito. Yun lamang po. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time!